Hey everybody, welcome back to Tea Time with Aloha and Coco, guys. I'm Vicky. If you are new around here, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to be part of the Tea Time family. So guys, today we're going to be um, sharing with you what I do when I go on road trips. Now, this could be um, a trip that we take to Disney. This could be a, a longer road trip. Um, but I do get a lot of questions when I've done trips in the past with the girls um, where people have asked me, how do you keep them entertained? They're always hungry. They're always asking for snacks. What do you do when you're on a road trip? Um, this one is a little bit less. This is four hours of a road trip, but we've taken road trips that have been um what like 12 hours 14 hours like the list goes on and on we've been to different places so the hours um add up and the kids get really really bored so i'm going to show you what we do um, and you can apply this to airplane rides road trips everything let me show you what we do okay so the first thing i like to do i love to get containers like this this was actually a find at target five dollars and then they have little um spacers these are the spacers they have some that go horizontally and some that go vertically so that you can create the little boxes and remove the ones you don't so one thing we do whenever we go on a trip to disney is we always take the girls to either mcdonald's or um Chick-fil-A, we always do something like that. That's like their treat. I don't like to get the McDonald's on a regular basis or anything like that. My preference and my husband's preference. But when we do go on road trips, it's kind of like that little tradition where we'll go get a little junk food and make it extra exciting. So I went ahead and I bought these containers. They were each $5 at Target. I went ahead and I washed it thoroughly, washed every single one of the separators. And I did little cupcake um like a little cups for the cupcakes. I bought these at Target as well. I did a little um fork also from target and it goes perfectly with the little uh cupcake holders and then i did a few napkins so they can clean themselves now one of the things that i as a mom i always experience is they get very hungry during road trips so i like to prepare this what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and put some chicken nuggets here uh, probably from chick-fil-a i'll go ahead and i'll separate another one here and i'll put the fries there and then i'm going to fill the extra spaces with little snacks so i have these little um so i have these little cheese uh balls it's a good size a good portion for little tummies so i'm gonna go ahead and add that then i'm gonna do some pretzels i'm gonna cut up some cheese and put it on another one so it's almost like a little charcuterie board and then i'm gonna add something sweet a little sweet trail mix that i bought from target so i'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and then we have part one of our car ride done or checked off and then i'll show you other things that we do to make the trip a little bit extra magical okay guys so i went ahead and i added some a little mozzarella pearls some cheese puffs some pretzels and a little trail mix it is sweet um now i'm gonna put the fries in this section once we get to um the drive through i'll go ahead and add the little chicken tenders and i left an empty space so they could put the ketchup now you don't have to line it with cupcake like the little cups i do it so when they're done eating I can take this section out, toss it out, wipe it down, and then um, ultimately I can keep filling it. So if we go to a little like rest stop, I can buy another little snack and kind of put it in their box, and then they eat in here. And then the best part about it is when they're done, they go here, they seal it, and that's it. I can hold on to it in the front. I can put it in their chair. So when I pick them up from school, they have it readily available. But this is one of my favorite hacks for travel snack boxes. So now I'm gonna move on over to another snack box. This one, the reason I didn't add it here is because I thought it was really, really cool. Since I wanna take them to Disney, I wanted to create my own little popcorn bucket. Popcorn buckets in Disney are extremely expensive. So I stopped by the Dollar Tree and I spotted this one. I have to dry it because I just washed it, but it is a little pumpkin. I'm gonna go ahead and make some popcorn fill the popcorn bucket up. And if you have a Cricut at home, I don't have time right now, but I wanted to do the little Mickey eyes and the little Mickey mouth. And then I was gonna do, I had a, like, like styrofoam, the little, like the foam paper. I was gonna make the two ears and give it a really cute Disney touch, but don't have time for that. So just gonna go ahead and dry these up, make some popcorn, fill it up. Okay. So our little popcorn buckets are filled. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. 
Now, if you guys didn't know, whenever you buy popcorn buckets at Disney, you can just take them back time after time after time again, and they'll refill it for less money because you already bought the actual popcorn bucket. Um, we have tons of popcorn buckets because um, every time that one comes out, we get all excited, we purchase it, and then we really just take um, take them back and get get it refilled. However, this time around, since I got the little pumpkin, I'm probably just going to go ahead and get like the little uh, um, paper box popcorn buckets and then i'll just refill it for the girls throughout the trip just so that they can get their little halloween kick because the popcorn is hot i got these at the dollar tree by the way these were a dollar 25 because the popcorn is hot i'm gonna leave it open for a little bit just so it ventilates a little and um i will go ahead and add the top as soon as the popcorn has cools going back to this box this takes a lot of effort to close i don't know if it's like a manufacturing issue but I purchased these twice and it's the same issue. The box, it's really hard to close a box. It does close, um, it just takes a little bit of effort. So just be mindful of that when you go purchase this. If you find another one where you can go ahead and divide all the little sections of food, probably go with that other option because this one, it is $5, but it takes a little bit of time to close. And if you're giving it to a child and you're not going to be um, around the child to close it when they finish and they do this and they try to close it and they lift it up the food's going to fall everywhere so just be mindful of that for this box i went ahead and also picked up this super cute little booyah zach um little water tumbler sipper type thing and i'm gonna fill it with water i already put the water bottle in the freezer so that it can get like icy and then i'll go ahead and add it just so that the water stays cooler throughout the entire duration of the trip rather than me fill it up now now that we're done with the food which is a huge thing for kids i'm gonna go ahead and turn to another thing i like to do okay so i picked these little sets up i always love to give the girls an activity they don't do ipads they don't do ipods they have no technology um available to them i don't like to give it to them um so i'll do puzzles things that they can put on their lap on a tray and they can work with so i picked up this little jewelry activity set this is from target i believe this was like 12 dollars or something like that uh, but they can do jewelry and if you have the little activity trays that you could put in the car i'll go ahead and insert a picture of that here but if you have something like that it's super beneficial to have because kids can be in that activity mindset for um, a good portion of the time. My recommendation, make sure that you don't give the kids these activities as soon as they hop in the car because from the point of you getting in the car all the way till you get to a turnpike or an expressway, they're gonna get car sick. So don't do that. Wait until you are on a steady road that you're just like driving forward for them to have access to these activities. So I picked this one up and I also picked up this little washable um, princess uh, activity they get to color it and then when they're done coloring you could just put it in a sink and you can wipe them clean with a little brush wash off the paint and they can go ahead and um, do it over and over so i always tell people to hold on to some of the toys that their kids get for christmas for example there's a lot of little stocking stuffers these would be kind of stocking stuffers um because they're little activities and things like that and in the moment, kids are really excited about what Santa brought them. In our house, Santa brings one big gift for each of the girls. And my husband and myself and the rest of the family, we buy them the other things that are on their list. Now, every house is different. I know that Santa sometimes brings one toy for children. Sometimes Santa brings more than one. But we have an agreement with Santa. Santa, you can only bring one for each of the girls. And we're going to go ahead and take care of the rest. I want the, the girls to um, appreciate Santa, but also all the love that the family gives them too so sometimes the family gets a lot very excited they get them a whole bunch of these um kinds of like cute little gifts so whenever we get little gifts like that during the holiday season i'll sometimes keep a couple of them um i put them away and then i give it to the girls little by little for road trips and things like that it just keeps these gifts exciting they're new um and they don't just go in a drawer or off into a closet somewhere so i'll i tend to kind of keep them we're out for the year um so i went ahead and i just i picked these up just to make the trip a little bit more exciting but always have something whether it be an activity or a little toy something fresh something new that they haven't seen before um that's going to preoccupy them quite a bit 
Another thing I really love to do for the girls is when I pick them up from school, it's usually at the end of the day. Um, so they're done with school, they're like exhausted. And I really want them to be the most comfortable they can be for that car ride. Uh, because we pick them up at, up at the end of the day, sometimes we get a lot of traffic. So a three and a half hour trip or four hour trip sometimes turns into five or six hours. And that's just uncomfortable. So I go ahead and I pick up a t-shirt for them. Um, they wear these t-shirts like to sleep and stuff, but I have a change of clothes for them waiting in the car. Coco loves Gudetama, so I got her this t-shirt, and Aloha loves Hello Kitty, so let me show you hers. And then this is Aloha's. Now, I will change them in the car. They'll have shorts. They'll have their Crocs ready, and I'll have a um, like a plastic bag. I have them put all of their uniforms and their socks and everything in that bag. I seal it closed, throw it in the back of the car, and then I wash it when I get to my location. So there you have it, guys. This is pretty much um, the food section. So we have our popcorn bucket. We have our snack and our lunch driving <laughs> box. We have our little water bottles. Um, and I like to do it all themed based off of, you know, whatever time of the year it is. So Christmas, we'll have another. But now that it's Halloween time, I love to theme it that way. They have their two activities for the car ride. They have a change of clothes. So if you really add it up, they usually take about... I don't know, maybe 45 minutes per activity. So you're looking at 45 minutes, 45 minutes. They usually take about an hour to eat and kind of listen to music and relax. So I think that by the time that they're done with this, we're at our destination. So yeah, guys, that is my how I like to travel video. I hope that you found some of these things useful, especially when you're traveling with kids. Even if it's not a long drive, even if we're going to be in the car because we have to go, you know, run some errands, I always carry some of those things with me just because it makes the girls' trips a lot easier. Like I said, I don't do iPods, I don't do um, iPads, I don't have a TV in the car, I don't have any of that stuff. So I try my best to give the girls as much as I can to continue, like, to stimulate stimulate their brains and keep them um, excited. I also carry books, but that's a different story. Thank you guys so much for following along. Don't forget to click like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Tea Time with Aloha and Coco, and I'll see you guys in our next video. And as I always say, Sanya, stay magical. Stay magical.